Welcome to Survivor NSFW. We are casting the U.S. versus Australia season. So we're just doing the U.S. part. I am joined, of course, by Wendell Holland. Uh, this is uh, this is post season forty, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the fact that Wendell Holland is now apparently a referee of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, roses, man. <laughs> you're a rose referee that's nice i i uh i am i am team dirty harry yes that's so, my guy yeah so I, i've already defected mm -hmm. to the other tribe okay all right okay so, but you do know why he's got that the toothpick yeah why does he have it for the for the u.s survivors that have the toothpick that's his homage he loves u.s survivor really that's his homage to the U.S. Survivor. I love it. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's his whole deal with that. Much respect, man. Much yeah. Respect. And, might, and, and right back respect. at us. I might. Uh, yeah, I might have a Survivor or two on my list that rocked the toothpick, so I might get some respect from Dirty Harry. There you go. So, all right. So the way we're doing this is we 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 each have uh, like so Australian Survivor is cast of uh, twelve people tribes. For the all star format, so we're each yeah. picking six females and six uh, six males that that we think would be good on the cast. So we're gonna alternate one after another. If we have one, if we have a person that you know, if you say one, it's just like, hey, they're on my list. They're automatically in our twelve, and then afterwards we decide if if we don't have matches, we debate and figure out who gets those spots. So, so I have, I have my six and six. I also have two alternates for men and women. <laughs> Fair play. I have, if you look at these notes, I have at least uh, 12 alternates for fellas and <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, about five or six alternates for the ladies. Okay. So if you could pick two alternates, let's start with the ladies. Let's start with, if you could, if you could narrow it down to two alternates, who would be your, your number two alternate? Okay, my number two alternate will be someone that you love dearly. Oh. Um, and uh, let me preface all this by saying, you know, I'm kind of a, a, stu a newer student in the game. So sure. I'd like to represent for my newer school folks. Uh, and also, I think that the game has been, um, it's it's heading, you know, it's a new school player's game. You heard probes. Well, I, I heard probes. I mean, because <laughs> it's a fair fight, 12 versus 8. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there you ha that explains it. That might be the, the reason. But um, so I do have a lot of new schoolers. So I will go ahead and start off. I will take this person as an alternate, as opposed to being in my top. Yes. Five. You love her. Six. To death. Top six. Top six. I'm sorry. Yeah. Top six. Yeah. You love her to death. Chrissy Hoffman. Let's go. I'm cool with Chrissy. She's not on my list, but uh, I'm I'm cool with her. I mean, she okay. just I, I I actually I love her as a character. I think she's amazing. Uh, she doesn't like me personally, mm -hmm. and I don't think she's that strong. I mean, like I uh, uh, peek behind the curtain, as we like to say on Survivor and SFW. Uh, I have my 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 list of six and my real list of six and six. Or I feel five strong people in one week on on the guys, five strong people one week on the girls. What do you uh, determine as weak per se, especially in going against? Just them? not a fucking beast like like all those motherfuckers yeah. on Australia. <laughs> yeah, this... Yes, yeah. every fucking one of them. All right, cool. So so anyway, so I just Chrissy's not on my list because I didn't find her strong enough. And to be my one weak person, she ain't my pick. Fair enough. Okay. All right. All right. So my alternate, uh, number two, Sierra Amazing. Sierra Amazing. Sierra. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, she's, she's a solid alternate. She's not on my list, so. Yeah. But she's a solid alternate. So she's strong. She 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 she's she's a, she's a bigger girl. She's taller than everybody. Yeah. I was so. looking up to her when I met her at uh, the whatever finale. Hard. Okay. Edge of Extinction finale. 
Yeah. So, yeah. and she's she's a beautiful girl. I mean, like if if you look at the casting of Australia, beaut- there's two it, things they're looking for. They're looking for monsters and beauty, for sure. So, and and they they and they have it in spades. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. So Sierra is my alternate. There's actually one other thing that they that they <laughs> don't cast. Okay. Oh, what what is that, Wendell? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, maybe we'll get to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna cross off a whole lot of my cast. <laughs> yes. Okay. So your uh, um, your your first your your number two alternate male. Okay. Wow. Because out of the males, I have a thousand alternates. <laughs> All right. Let's go with. I guess we'll go big and strong. You know what? I'll keep it new school. Um, I'll go with Aaron Meredith. Aaron Meredith, not a bad pick. Uh, I honestly feel that in the U.S., uh, thirty nine has such a stink on it. Yeah, that they're that they're not going to revisit it. I if, I think if they were to, I think there there's potentially one exception. I don't think Mer- I don't think Aaron is that guy. It's a who would you say? Uh, we'll get to it. Okay. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to blow my load. <laughs> so it's my. It's my. Uh, it's my number six person on one on one of my lists. She. We'll see. Wow. Okay. Okay. Like- okay. So Aaron Meredith. Not as I said. I, there's just that stink of thirty nine. For sure. That I know the U.S. isn't touching. That Australia might not care, but I could see them being. No, we don't want that stink either. Okay, so I got another question for you, Mr. Fairplay. Yeah. Are we thinking the tribe that would do well or the tribe that one of – I haven't put myself in my six or, or my 12, so I'm not in it. I think that this group would do well against these people. But if I were in it, then I would say, you know what, maybe I need some other people that would fit better. I would not be adverse to putting yourself in it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be in. I want to be okay. in. It, but okay, well then, <laughs> we're casting this. <laughs> I, I, I'm this. Uh, okay, all right. Okay. I just wanted to keep it uh, humble because you know. Yeah. No, no, fuck that. Is that I, why? <laughs> you be be humble on a, an imaginary podcast. This is real. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, uh, my uh, my number six or my my number two alternate uh, guy is uh, Chris Noble. That's my boy. Did, did yeah. you expect him to be on my list? You know, I I didn't necessarily expect him to be on your list, but he's certainly on my list for sure. Okay, okay. For so, him. so he might. I mean, so he's not. It's not an official spot in our final six, but he's right there. Because if if he's in your final six, like I mean, he's he's as close to like like when we go to debate, that's as close as it gets. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Or, so, so we're not even, we're not really debating just yet. No, not yet. All right. Respect okay. for that pick. Respect. All okay. right. So I'm going my male alternate number one now. No, your your female number one alternate. Okay. My female number one. Let's go with Nat Anderson. Uh, I like that. <laughs> Uh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my female number one alternate, Stephanie Lagrasso. Good choice. Very good choice. Um, she was just, just outside of my alternate, you know, I had a big list, but yeah, the, the only reason she's an alternate for me is, uh, just the age. That's another question of mine. Yeah. Yeah. And and they don't mind uh they don't mind an older older woman cast on on uh Australia Survivor. But I mean I just feel that the deck the deck is stacked against us. So I mean we just need to we be correct. Y- young and hungry. So yeah. but 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 still representative across uh, represented across the board. All right. So another reason why my list kind of skews towards the newer school, but I do have a couple, um, a couple old schools on it. 
Okay. So uh, you're uh, your number one alternate male. Okay. And we're just going with a big guy right now. Cause sure. I'm going to go with James Clement. Uh Oh, if that knee is acting right. Uh, I love James. I mean, James, James and me, we we've, We've done some things in Japan, Wendell, that I, I, I cannot talk about even on the Q&A. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez. So, uh, we, shit, we, I've done some things with James in Houston I can't talk about on the Q&A. I'm sure Ooh. that fair play, man. You're the, you're the guy with all the stories. Uh, I try. I try. Uh, honestly, James is not on my list because uh, as, as we're, there's a uh, – I just have people higher than James and, 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 and I get it as he's, he's, he's right there below my alternate, but he's, he's not quite there. All right. I was just look. I was just remembering this massive guy that is to look at. If, if those beasts from Australia are looking across and see him, they're like, he's not a bad one. I mean, I, I could easily be talked into him. I just feel that the rest of my list is stronger. All right. So, right. so we'll see. So, but, uh, I love James and, and, and like, I mean, I remember the first time I met James on uh, Micronesia, like I walked up and I was just like, what do you do for a living? And he's like, I bury people. <laughs> and I'm just like, but what's your profession? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yeah. that's some strong shit right there. Yeah. So yeah. I love James. Okay. All right. So now we're down to the real deal. Your number six female. All right. My number six female. Let's go with, um, let's go with, wow. All right. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a ghost island pick. I'm going to go with Morgan Ricky. Oh, the, uh, uh, what, SeaWorld? Yeah, the killer yeah. whale instructor. I I love her as a person. I mean, I th- and she's she's top 20, one of my favorite survivors ever. I mean, so awesome. Not that great at TV. And uh I, I did, play the win, fair play. I, I understand. I don't I don't have a problem with that pick as as a for the reasons that you're saying it, but I'm still trying to make a good television show. Fair enough. So, so not on my list. So, but I love her. She's her bubble was burst in episode three, though, or four, right? So, yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's still, there's still, you know, yeah. fruit on the vine. But I mean, I don't know. All right. I think there's a lot more to her in real life than I saw on the show. A lot more, and right. it's just like you know, they, they did, they got so little. It's just like maybe there's not a lot to work with TV wise. So. So that's okay. Not everyone was made for TV, Wendell. It's okay. <laughs> All right, my uh, my number six female, and she's actually not even my number six, but 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 I'm moving her here because uh, because of an earlier statement. Uh, Natalie Anderson, okay, is in my top six. So, okay, absolutely, positively. So, and do not be surprised if you see her on the challenge coming up. Really? Yeah. So. She's great. Wow. Yeah. 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 She's, I mean, she's a great competitor and a great player. Yeah. So, yeah. and, and, and she's good TV. Yeah. So, I wow. mean, she, I cried when she cried on, on edge, but uh, episode, was that episode three? When Ethan almost died. Yeah. <laughs> It must have been episode three. Yeah, I think it's okay. yeah. So so no, so but yeah. So 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 that puts her pretty close to our final list. So she she's your alternate, and she's my number six. Okay. Yeah. So all right. Okay. So your number six. Uh, oh, did I not hold on? I didn't do my last male alternate. I think you're right. Yeah, my last male, my number one male alternate, Ben. Ben Dreworgan? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know this. But Ben, but Ben's a military vet. Well, <laughs> he, he served on HSV. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I, it was a wild <laughs> guess. 
Yeah. No, Ben served our nation's military. So, <laughs> no, yeah. hero. so the only reason he's an alternate is uh, I don't want too many winners. Yes. So, I mean, like, you know, they're, you know, I have, I have my, like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm casting a big net here. Yeah. So, so, but Ben, you know, if he's down, I got no problem with him being there and he's a big boy. He's a big, strong boy. He's on my list. Not on my, not on my top list, but he was one of my, you know, yeah. 15 guys. I mean, like if it's one of those, you know, you guys go fight each other challenges. I like Ben in a fight. Oh yeah. He'll die out there. Yeah. Yeah. He's not, he's not walking away. No, either. <laughs> yeah. He, he's going to go hard. Yeah. So I despise that when, uh, that first challenge on winners at war. Yeah. So, so now nah, he's, he's legit. So, yeah. okay. So, uh, you're, uh, you're, you're number six guy. So I'm, I have to, I'm going to have to swap myself out for someone now. Yeah. <laughs> And that's tough. Um, that's tough. I'm going to do it for somebody. All right, so I'll go. I didn't have them in order. I just had my list. But I'm going to do do them in order. So I will start with my boy, Rick Devins. You got Rick Devins? I have Rick Devins. Yeah, Rick, Rick Devins, Devins is not on my list. All giant people. Rick Devins is good at some things, man. Yeah, I I, TV. I get that, and I think he's great TV. I mean, I just if I'm picking one weak dude, he ain't my dude. You keep on saying weak, man, because I have I have more than Rick Devins as the not physically gigantic people. I have about two other folks. You think that won't well, cut it on the season? Like I that? don't think so. <laughs> have you watched Australian All Stars? But man. I got I got one guy that's man. Some of these guys got it up here. I understand. I mean, there there's still puzzles, but they have a lot less puzzles on what Australian my, Survivor. This is true. This is true. But there's also strategy, like my boy um, Nick. I got it. Nick from over there. Nick from uh, Australia. Yeah, Nick Strong. He's strong too, but he's all he's not the biggest guy in the world. No, 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 no. I mean he's strong at puzzles, but that, that's your one weak guy. That's that that's the only weak guy. If I'm Australian Survivor, that's the only weak guy I cast. Yeah. Okay. Especially to go against the best of the US. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm Australian Survivor, I definitely cast Nick. Okay. And we're playing on their turf. And we're playing on their turf. So it's so. a lot of their challenge. He knows their puzzles. Yeah. They recycle okay. puzzles over there. So so do we. All right, so I'll, uh, I'll I'll stick with my guy Devins. I That's like fine. I, I I don't have a, I don't have a problem with the pick because he's a lot bigger than you think he is. Yeah. Uh, you know, like on people watching at home, he's he's bigger than you think, but he's just so and he's 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 athletic, but still, I don't. He ain't on my list. Uh, my right. my number six, Tommy Sheehan. Okay. He's like big him. big reds a big boy. He didn't get a chance to play the game he wanted to play on 39, but he, he played the game to win a million dollars and good on him. I got no problem with that. I mean, I thought it was a shit season. I thought it was a shit winner. <laughs> but that, that's okay. I don't, I ain't hating. <laughs> yeah. I heard you guys podcast with him. And then like in the next episode, I heard you and Matt talk shit on him. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I, I like Tommy Sheehan, they, and and they, I, I I would like to see Tommy Sheehan unedited, and I think in the Australian format he could be, and and I look forward to what he could possibly do. But as far as big boys, as a big motherfucker, I want him on my tribe. He's gigantic. He's strong. He's a great athlete. Great at many athletic things. So yeah, yeah. he'd be great against them. Yeah, and he's smart. Yeah. So so yeah. So I I you need, I you need a ginger out there. Anyway, yeah, I mean, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because they have lots of diversified things. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> Fair yours, if, you, if you want us to go out there and compete against them, yeah, making fun of their <laughs> policies is not the way to do it. Oh, no. We're, 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 we're casting a big net, Wendell. Yeah. Yeah. Casting a big net. Yes. Yes. So you're your your number two female. Okay. 
Or you're number five if you're yes. working your way up. I'm going, yes, number five female. Another one that you're going to question me for, but I'm going to take this lady. I'm going to take her and I'm going to stand behind her. I'm going with Nora. Whew. I Go get ahead. it. She's good TV. She's physical. So I haven't I haven't met her in person, so I don't know how physically imposing that she is. Nora, I'm, what's that? Nora's a beast. Okay, okay. I don't I don't have a problem with that pick. And 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 honestly, I mean, like this is you know we we could the person I'm going to say I think would be her equal, and so we you know we could debate between the two of them. Uh, Allison Raybould. Allison. Okay. Yeah, so she yeah. is a challenge beast, proven, and uh, uh, she's smart. Yeah, she's very smart. Wow, I did. I saw her when I was scrolling through names, and I didn't pick her. So good pick. And 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 she she has a. Uh, I think she's very pretty. So I mean, you know, she's, she's not stunning, but I think she's a pretty girl. Yeah, so. she's a pretty woman. I agree. Yep. So, uh, so anyway, I, uh, and, and fuck that. She is stunning. You know, don't, <laughs> Allison, if you're listening, I think, I, I, yeah. I think she's just beautiful. I like it, it. It's my, my, my eyes for her are no secret. <laughs> so, we know fair yes. place. Your yes. eyes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Uh, your, uh, your number five dude. Okay. So, this is when I'm going to put myself in place of someone that I had. Sure. Can I do that? Yeah. I'll tell you whose place I'm taking. Uh, you, can, you can tell me whose place you're taking. All right. So I'm going to take Christian Hubicki's place. Oh, Jesus. Well, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy, yo, first and foremost, you know how smart he is. And we're ma- he's also great television. We're making a TV show. He's a great I got guy. it. And lastly, the dude is strong. He has that. Uh, I'll use a wrestling term, internal fortitude that like you, you saw him up there battling for five hours against Alec. That's fine. He has his little biceps and his little triceps. I'd punch that dude one time. He'd cry. Fair play. I don't know, man. All, All right. I'm saying is I just tagged him out. So now he's not in it. Anymore. Uh, I, well, he, I assure you he's not on my list. <laughs> All, right, fine. All right. fine. But again, I have, okay, go ahead. Okay. So I honestly, like, I mean, I was at Allison's watch party. Is that blood? Are you drinking blood, blood to prepare for this thing? Yeah, I got you, man. I'm, ready. <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was at Allison's watch party for the, the episode Christian was, was, uh, was booted. And, uh, it's the only place on the planet that was cheering with me. Like I was like, I'm like, Oh, this is perfect because <laughs> I'm so happy, and so are they. <laughs> oh, man. So, it was great. He so. can't he can't win Survivor, but because of who he is, I, I'd say kind of like a, almost like a Zeke not being able to win Survivor because who they are. But I think I would like him on my tribe. Okay, so uh, yeah, he's not on mine. I don't like him. Right. <laughs> anyway, I subbed myself in for him. So sure, so and, and so mine. my number five dude, Johnny Fairplay. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't your number five. Uh, yeah, he's my number. One. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I got my weak people out early. <laughs> so yeah, this is my one weak person. I think that I think this character is good television. I think he's good at uh, uh, he he's better at challenges than you think. And uh, you know, I'm okay on the puzzles and stuff like that. So I mean, I. I would cast Johnny Fairplay on a U.S. versus Australia. I mean, you have Dirty Dirty Harry, oh, the yeah. Australian equivalent. You do the U.S. version for sure. I would yeah. cast you. Yeah, so Even you're not on my list. <laughs> I'm not on your list. Oh Jesus! I I took you and I out of the equation. Oh, I but you put yourself back. Yeah. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. Advanced mathematics, man. I don't know. Oh well, then I fucked up because you're 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 on my you're on my top six. Cool. Okay. Well. All right. So my next pick. <laughs> what's gonna be? We'll, we'll get there. All right. And now we'll take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors. Any fool can climb a wall or crawl through sand, but as every fan knows, survivor challenges are won or lost at the puzzle. 
The most successful players are puzzle masters, and you can be one too. Fair play. Perplexer's Puzzles creates handmade miniature replicas of many of Survivor's greatest and most challenging puzzles. Find out if you have what it takes by visiting the Perplexer's Puzzle store on Etsy or simply visiting SurvivorPuzzle.com. Enter promo code FAIRPLAY, F-A-I-R-P-L-A-Y, at checkout for a 10% discount. And let me tell you, I'm hanging out on my patio on these beautiful summer nights. I have uh, Zach Hacker coming over to my house, and we did the fire puzzle, the season 40 puzzle. I got the tree puzzle, and Zach was like, dude, these things are fucking awesome. So if you are a fan of Survivor, as Zach is, and I know he has a true authentic Survivor puzzle that I have personally done, these Perplexers puzzles are the real deal. So go to survivorpuzzle.com right now, enter promo code FAIRPLAY at checkout for a 10% discount, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This episode is brought to you by Magic Spoon. Growing up, cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid, but I had to give it up because I realized it was full of sugar and junk that you really shouldn't eat. I've been trying to cut down on carbs, sugar, unhealthy food, and realized I basically can't eat anything anymore. I mean, guys, I, I, it's like you try to eat healthy, but you're like, what am I going to eat for breakfast? It sucks. But I tell you what, with Magic Spoon, you have zero sugar, 12 grams of protein, only three net grams of carbs in each serving. You have four flavors, so if you're picky, you have flavors to choose from. You have cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. And on top of that, it tastes amazing. Honestly, guys, it's too good to be true. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. I tell you what, guys, I mean, growing up, I would eat these sugar cereals. I would eat cream of wheat, and I would pour all the sugar on it. And I thought, man, that's that's uh, what you do as, as breakfast eaters. But no, you want to get Magic Spoon. And our listeners have a great deal. Zach, tell them how they can get a great deal through our podcast for Magic Spoon Cereal. Just go to magicspoon.com slash survivor to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use promo code SURVIVOR at checkout to get free shipping. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. That's magicspoon.com slash survivor and use the code survivor for free shipping. We thank Magic Spoon for sponsoring the podcast. Man, I love the Magic Spoon. The cocoa, the fruity, the frosted, the blueberry. I don't know which one I love the most. This week, it's the fruity, but you never know next week. Go to magicspoon.com slash survivor, promo code survivor. Get yourself some free shipping. Okay. So, so, so your next female pick. Okay. You? Yours. Okay. Sydney from. Colorado. She's a beast. She's a beast. She's a beast. Not on my list, but I got no problem with that pick. And she's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She's very sharp, and yep. she's. A- no, nope, I got no problem with that pick. You can talk. You, I could be talked into that pick. All right. Okay. Uh, my uh, my next female, Twyla. Twyla. Twyla uh, from Vanuatu. She's got a mullet. Okay. I could, I could, uh, I could see the Australian TV people liking that, and uh, when I did Celebrity Fear Factor with her, I was just like, I don't really think this is fair because, like, every team, like you know, it was like the Miz and Trishel and and uh, Jonathan Baker and his wife Victoria. Like every team, it was like you know, guy girl couples, and me and Twyla was two dudes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I did say that on the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With Twyla beside me. <laughs> and she hits very hard. <laughs> yeah, I bet she does. All right, then. All yeah. right, I could be talking to that. Yeah, I so be- as, as she's like, uh, when it comes to those one-on-one fights, 
I wouldn't mind seeing like like trial trials like a Ben, you know, like that that little that that hint of redneck that goes a long way. I mean, like if you've ever seen a redneck fight, like like you gotta like they just get their ass beat and it's just like I ain't done. It's like, but you should be. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I like that. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> have it in here or something, and yeah, up no, here. No, maybe not there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good recipe, I guess, for for these kinds of things. I think it's a good recipe for all struggling survivor. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay, uh, your next dude. Okay, let's see. So we're going to number four. Okay. I know we're gonna strongly agree on one person. We'll see. I'm not gonna even say his. You know what? Nope, I'm not going to even say his name. Okay. So six, five, four. You know what? Number four, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Mike Holloway. Uh, you know what? I don't know why he's not on my list. I, 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 I think the only reason is I, I can I can tell you why. I didn't want to overcrowd it with winners, and I only have two male winners on my list, and. Tommy Sheehan's one, and my next pick is my other. Yeah. So, okay, that works. So that was, I mean, like, as I said, like, I, I'm i trying to, you know, if if I'm not worried about winners, then he could easily bump somebody. But if I am worried about overcrowding it with winners, and and I felt that Australia was was worried about that. Mm. They only sprinkled in some winners. And, and they were early boots. Yeah, they got out of there early. Yeah, so... Okay, I have a total of three winners if you include myself. Okay, guys and girls. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, my next my next guy pick. Uh, uh, I haven't talked to him recently, but I follow his Instagram, and uh, man, very colorful. Uh, Wendell Holland. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't know, but if you look at his Instagram, that man, yeah. <laughs> that guy, that he's guy. Uh, polarizing, apparently. <laughs> I, I think he is, man. It sounds like he's either doing something right or something wrong. I don't know, man. Yeah, and and, and apparently Nick Wilson gets gets mentioned every other uh, comment for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I I don't think, get that, because I didn't think it was Nick Wilson's Instagram. I thought it was yours. <laughs> nah, that guy, that's my buddy. Yeah, uh, there you go. He, he's... He, yeah, that's my buddy. So, so yeah. So now I got. When do I got you on here? Uh, I um. I think you'd be a great pick. Thank you, thank so. you. Is it just because you love me? Just because you're in love with me? Uh, well, there's that. But I mean, I would, I would, if I'm casting this, if if I didn't know you, I'm casting you. Okay. So, I mean, I I think you're I think you're a strong competitor. As I said, I want this to be strong, and you know, I don't know if you've noticed, but like. You look a lot like Childish Gambino. <laughs> That's what just, they say. Just saying. Just saying. So, so I mean, because uh, I don't. Also, I don't know if you noticed Australian Survivor. Not a. Uh, not extremely diverse. Not a lot of brothers on that cast. Not a lot of brothers, and so I, I think you know, it's just like for if there's any you know worry or concern, you'd be like, hey, you know, Childish Gambino is cool. Yeah. Well, this is. Close. We can put him on there. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm doing all I can on my. I like. Appreciate it. Okay. It's like all right. Me, so, and me and Jericho. Yes. So, uh, your your next female. My next female. What number are we? So we've done. Okay. Four. So number three. Uh. Six, five, four, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're three. Yes. I'm gonna go with one. Kelly Wentworth. Not on my list. All right, fair enough. I don't, I'm, I kind of feel she's overrated. Think so? To me, to me. And, and, and honestly, I've never met her in person and meeting her in person could easily change my mind because there's a lot of people that I'm just like, ah, and then you meet them, they're just like, whoa, there's, there's a lot more there. And I said, and Morgan, I just, you know, I don't, I, as a person, I'm just like, man, she's a really awesome person. But I didn't think she was great TV. Wentworth, I don't really think is great TV, and I don't know her. So so I'm just not on a personal level convinced. I'm not so much on a personal level with her. Maybe it's just me being a, a recent fan 
of sure. the show. So it's like Wentworth is one of those characters that uh, made some made some noise. Yeah, for Prime. Yeah, she's not on my list for anything ever. Okay, <laughs> just so uh, this one. She's probably not on your list, and and you're you're, you're probably gonna guess wrong when I say her name. <laughs> so I have Michaela. But Michaela from Philippines? Yeah, so she she used to date somebody, right? She dated Russell. Yeah. And then um she uh she just did Eco Challenge with Rhino and uh some other famous it was uh they had another famous person on their team. They just did Eco Challenge in Fiji. That'll that'll be I think it's gonna be on Amazon. Oh wow. So and so to do something like Eco Challenge, that's legit as fuck. Yeah. Yep. All so right. and and you know, and if you saw her, I mean, she's the temptress. Yeah. <laughs> so, and they, they they like a hot girl. She's still hot as fucking balls. She was in what Playboy, and uh, and and she's apparently still a fucking physical beast. Okay. I like that pick. I think they like that pick. All right, then we'll take we'll take Michaela. Yeah. We'll take Michaela. What do you think about the other Michaela? I like her. I, I just, I just think it's confusing having two Michaelas. Sure. Yeah, like you wouldn't and, know which is which. <laughs> I mean, I don't like any season that's two people with the same fucking name. I'm just like, you couldn't save those that person for the next fucking season. Like Pearl Islands, you had Rhino and Skinny Ryan. Do you think Skinny Ryan liked being called Skinny Ryan? Because I can answer that. The answer is no, and he's now Fat Ryan because he hated it so much. Yeah. Damn. Uh, yeah. So, we, and and do we want Michaela and are we are we picking an adjective for for whichever other Michaela? I don't think we should do that either. I don't think so. So. All right. I, I do think, like I do like White yeah, look, Doug I'm, on on the Hangover though. Huh? What? <laughs> White Doug on the Hangover? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We can do what is white Michaela bad? I feel like it's not good. <laughs> I, I think they'd be fine with it on Australian Survivor. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> uh, All right. Your next dude. My next guy. So number three guy. I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with uh Chris Noble. Okay. Yeah. Um from my perspective, man, Chris Noble as as uh as he and I were on the wrong side of things the whole like he and I were going against each other the whole the whole way the whole time he was out there I guess by means of me being allied with Dom I was going against Chris yep. Noble pretty much the whole time uh that being said when he is standing next to you and fighting with you you have this feeling like you can overcome anything because this guy He's a he's a, a beast. And he, he's a beast, and he's still going to be dwarfed by like a Lockie. He will, but when Chris Noble is swimming against anybody, Chris Noble will win that race. When Chris Noble is throwing against anyone, he'll win that race. If he's jumping against anyone, he'll win that jump. I'll take it. I'll he take told it. Me something like he was training to be an Olympic swimmer, and you know Sebastian, he's a fish. You know Morgan, she's a fish, and Chris Noble was the fastest swimmer on our tribe. Wow. Like this man, and then his, his arm, he was like a semi whatever baseball player. Uh, he could play basketball. Yeah. Chris Noble as uh the only thing he can't do as is rap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I so we have three three dudes locked in on our, our male cast. We have Wendell, Johnny Fairplay, and Chris Noble. <laughs> cool. Sounds like a good tribe if you ask me. I mean, i i got I got no problem with that. So, I know we're right. agree with the other guy. Okay, my next dude. I went old school on this one, and uh, I kn- like. I can tell you that, like, I've done autograph signings in Australia and New Zealand, and and like I did their version of Comic Con. We had eighty thousand people. And uh, it was was an amazing, like I, the year I went, I, the first year I went, I went with uh, Jerry Manthe. And uh, I know the year before that, uh, Big Tom went with Lex and they were gods over there. And uh, they they do appreciate the early season and see, see them as, as, you know, survivor royalty. For sure. 
I got Lex on my list. Good pick, man. He's a big dude. Good pick. He's deceptively big. So, you know, I don't like him versus Lockie. Not so much, but maybe old custard arms. <laughs> Lex is a solid pick. Big, strong guy. Um, I saw what, – what challenge did I see? Uh, what's the guy's name? Tarzan or something over on uh, Australian Survivor? There's a Tarzan. No, there's Tarzan. Uh, they're they're Rupert. See, which called Matt Rogers is their Lex. True. Okay. Yeah. So, and he's a small like like Lex is actually bigger than their Lex. Matt Rogers. He is, but Matt didn't Matt play like rugby or something. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a he's a tough motherfucker. I mean, like that 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 he is like Australian redneck. Like, yeah, that dude, like, you will have to kill him to stop him. Yeah, man. All right. I love yeah. him. I didn't I like want to. Like, like that's the opposite of the player that I like, but I was all in on Matt Rogers. Oh, yeah. I just like that heart. For sure. It's like real heart, not bullshit heart. Yeah. That guy, he's um, he's the real deal, man. I, li- I like him. And so, so like, as a, you know, with – Matching me up with with Dirty Harry, do you like matching up Lex with with Matt Rogers? I like Lex a lot, but I don't want to see them fight each other. Okay, <laughs> he, Lex is bigger than him, but geez, Louise! Yeah, rugby's rugby. Rugby's rugby, bro. They don't wear they don't wear shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but I like Lex for our squad. I like Lex a lot. Okay, well he's 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 there. All right, yeah. so uh, your next female. Okay. This is number two. Yep. I'm gonna go with Sophie Clark. Yeah, not not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to hear your reason. <laughs> you want to hear my reason? No, I don't. <laughs> Yo, I might not. She's a tough cookie, man. She's Have a, you she's seen tough. my new Sophie shirt? There you go. I get it, man. I get Exciting, it. huh? I, I agree. Uh, nice. But when it yeah. comes to competing, I'm telling you, man. I got it. No way. I'm telling you. <laughs> now, what I will say is I, I could – we could swap Matt Anderson in there for Sophie because that was my number one um, alternate. Uh, because Nat Anderson, if you're wrestling or something, obviously Nat's gonna win that. Yeah. Okay. But Sophie's my number two. Okay, so female. Let's go ahead and put Natalie. She she's she's made the final cut. All right, sorry, Sophie. Sorry, Sophie. Yeah, you're out. I you're think. uh tribe spoken. So <laughs> <laughs> uh my uh my next uh number two, Sierra Lucina. Good choice. So I mean I'm not saying she's a tough female. I'm saying she's a tough human being. She ran seven marathons in seven days on seven fucking continents. How many motherfuckers on the planet in the history of the world can say that? I'm not saying she's a tough female. I'm saying <laughs> when I was on DeCall 1.0, I told everyone that she's the strongest person on our tribe. Yep. Yeah. So I, I would love to see her battle some of those uh, yep. Australian yep. It, it, uh, male or female tough man yeah give, give her jericho <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah yeah all right is cyril seen on your list for sure okay so can we just go ahead and move her into the finals on uh 100%. okay she's okay. my number one. Oh, okay well she she was my number one but I, I was saving a surprise for my number one all right okay all right so uh your next uh your next dude all right, so I'm just gonna go. You're ahead. number two, dude. All right, I'm gonna put this guy. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you mad with my number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with my number two, who you and I will both agree on. Yeah, John Hennigan. Ooh, uh, he. Can, I I I don't even have him on my list because W. I'm I. There's no way W. E. Lets him go for sixty days. I hear you on that. Okay. Yep. All right. No. I would, I would be, I would be there with you in a heartbeat. Yeah, I don't, I think it's no possibility. Oh, he man. was working for TNA at the time, and they're just like, "Yes, go do something to be famous. Like anything makes us look better." Oh man, yeah. So, but if if he wasn't with the W, he's. I didn't know he's with the WWE. He's tag team champions with the Miz. Okay, well that'll that'll do it. Yeah. Damn. 
Yeah, he's a tag team champ on SmackDown on Fox. He's on the big show. He's tag team champions. He beat the... He single-handedly beat the New Day and uh, the Usos at WrestleMania Okay. in a ladder match. Okay. Now, yeah. I haven't watched in two decades, but the yeah. ladder match I probably saw was Razor Ramon and I think Shawn Michaels in a WrestleMania. Yeah. That's a great match, but they do a lot crazier shit now. I'm willing to bet they do. Yeah. So No, I, I, would, I, I, I love that pick, but there's no way, so he, not even a possibility. So... He would do right. good. He'd do great. He would. He would do. He would do really well. So okay. Uh, my next one. I'm guessing you probably have this guy on 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 your list. Uh, Joey, amazing. I have him on my big list, but I don't have him on my top six. Oh, uh, I, I I I think the game of Australian Survivor was made for Joey, amazing. He's good at everything, and he's, he's good at everything. He's a big bitch. So. Is he good at wrestling type stuff? I don't know, but I, he's, I wouldn't. He might be squirrely. You're, 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 whoever your number one Australian badass is, you throw Chris Noble against him. Your number two, you throw Joy Amazing and, and, and roll the dice. I like it. So, I like it. So, yeah. So, I mean, if, Dirty Hair even said that guy's final five on any season of Australian Survivor he's ever cast on. He did say that. No right. problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. strong. Yeah. Okay. You're going to despise my number one. Uh, is that what we're down to? Your number no. one number one female? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you know my number one female. Officer Sarah Lassie. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Sarah, so she she's already on our list, and uh, uh, my number one female, Sari. Really? Yeah, she's she was the number two person I put like when I when I kept when I started my list. The first per, first name I wrote was Sarah Lucina. The number the second name I wrote was Sari. Wow, I like it. I think Australia will fall in love with Sari. You think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. I wouldn't be shocked if Sari moves to Australia afterwards and becomes fucking parliament. <laughs> I love Sari. I love everything about her. Yeah, that's my one weak pick, but I mean, you know, look at Sharn. <laughs> Sharn is a winner or a second placer? Second placer. Right, right. On, right. on her yeah, first yeah. season. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, I mean, but I think, I think Sari is just as tough as Sharn and just as strong as a player as Sharn. I agree with you. So, so I would like, like if you're looking for Sharn's matchup, I think it's Sari. Yeah. I like that. So. I like that. Um, I didn't see me going there. Did you? Not at all. <laughs> Not Number at two all. name of all. Yeah. That's a good one. That's solid. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Your final dude? My final dude. Oh, boy. Don't hang this conversation. I, I mean, I got, the, I got the button right. Don't hang it up. Yeah. I'm going to say that this guy is a lot smarter than he is strong, but he's strong. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my, number, my number one, because... My number one is Yule. I don't have a problem with Yule, but he's not on my list. Okay. But I could be talked. I that one I could be talked into. He is a beast. Yule won't be talked into going on the show, probably. Yeah. If if they found a way to get Yule out there, Yule man. Yeah. He is. He keeps. He he does something for camp life in that he just keeps you smiling at all times because you're kind of like smiling with and at him. Yeah. But he's also very strong. And no one's smarter than you. He's a shark. Well, he agreed to go to fans, the first fans versus favorites. So it's not like he's been telling them no all this time. Okay. So I don't know how many other times they called him. I know when they did call him for fans versus favorites, what I was told was he was a red herring that they didn't want to use. They, they thought he was a, a TV dud. Okay. And I think he's proved them wrong on season 40. For sure. So. For sure. Uh, yeah, I don't have a problem with that pick. Uh, my final pick, Ozzy. 
I was thinking of Ozzy. Yeah. So I, I think uh I think I mean it's it's Australian survivor. He's Ozzy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yep. For sure. So he's a challenge beast. Yep. Uh, you know, he doesn't have the size, but you know, I, I think you you match him up on the on the the smaller stuff. But uh, he's got the heart, and he's got the swimming, yep. and you know, hanging on a pole, which is, there's a lot of that. So, uh, you know, I don't know what kind of shape he goes into it. I mean, like you know, he could probably see as like I'm just gonna get fat because I'm gonna be there for sixty days. So I don't know, but uh, I I think he's. He's a survivor icon. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, all right. So let's, let's narrow down our six dudes. So we have three spots locked in Wendell, Johnny, Chris Noble. (laughs) We're in agreement on that. Yes. Okay. So who do we give those other three spots to? So you had name your other ones, Ozzy, Lex. Uh, I have uh, Ozzy, Joy, amazing Lex. Uh, Tommy Sheehan. Yep. And, uh, you, me. Yeah. Well, I'm already on the list. Three, four. You had you, you and me. So that was your six. Yeah. Okay. So I had, I had Yule. I had Devons. I had me in the spot of Christian Hibiki. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> you'll never talk me into that. Johnny Nitro, who is not going to be there. Yeah, not a possibility. There's you, and I had Mike Holloway. Yeah. Okay. Now let's uh, let's let's talk this through. I'm willing to let go of a couple of my guys. Sure. I can um because he's not. A big strong threat. I can go ahead and get rid of Devin's right now. Yeah. Even though I think he has many other assets. And I team. agree. I, I think he's great TV. I just, I mean, I think the physicality is going to set the tone. Mm-hmm. So, all right. And we're going to cross out Hennigan because he won't. He can't do it. All right. I got Yule and I got Mike Holloway. Okay. I got Joy Amazing, Lex. And Ozzy. And Tommy. And Tommy Sheehan. That's right. So we need three more people out of these. Five. Yeah. Out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> no, one. No, out of six. Okay. okay. All right. Three out of six. Yeah, that's easy. Let's do it. All right. Of all these people, I think I really like Tommy Sheehan. Just for the you sheer like fucking size. Big guy, athlete, likable, great winner. Athlete. Winner. I mean, like you know, I, I don't want to flood it with winners, but he is a winner, and he's just a fucking big bitch, man. And I think yeah. you have to have that to go against them. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All is right. He almost like hockey. What's that? Tommy is bigger than no- Chris Noble. I don't know yeah. he's stronger than. Is, is Tommy our lucky? He might be our lucky. So it, it'd be nice to have a fucking lucky. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. What's that other guy's name? Is his name Zach? The other gigantic guy? Over oh there? yeah, yeah, just as big. Zach is even stronger than than lucky. Yeah. So we need Hennigan. I know Hennigan's not a, all right. So so our neck. So so we're thinking if we're thinking size, Joey Amazing or Mike Holloway. I think Joey amazing. And I'm just scared once again of too many winners. I don't want our fucking stupid fucking US cast going, well, let's get rid of the winners. <laughs> yeah, yeah y'all, y'all better not. See, you, you're going to walk out there with like two winners and y'all are going to easily pick my me and Tommy off. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. I love Mike Holloway. I do too. So Mike's not necessarily out, but is, can we can we agree on Joy Amazing? Yeah, we got to. I mean, as I said, I, I don't even think he likes me as a person. So it's not like you know I'm padding my fucking deal. 
Yeah, no, no, no. I got so, you. I mean, I have said such horrific things about him on my podcast. And he's he hurt like I met him at Hearts Reality. Like I spent two days of purposely avoid I mean, like, we were within like two feet of each other multiple times. And and like I purposely just just you know just kind of just I, I'm facing this direction, and like finally like day three like his mom's just like you know Joey grew up liking the bad guys I was like oh and so I, I was just like hey Joey Fairplay he's like yep and I was just like uh, uh I've heard your podcast <laughs> and I was like we good <laughs> so I don't know how much he's heard but he heard enough yeah. Uh, I okay. mean, and, and I preface everything I say on the podcast. I'm just like, look, this is not based on the human being. This is based on what they're presenting to us on television. For so, sure. And I'm trying to make entertainment here. I mean, yeah. if I just sit there and go, I'm sure they're all great people. That's a shit fucking podcast. I agree. I mean, if you take the Wendell approach, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like him. I like her. Yeah, great person. Yeah. All right. So we got Joy. So we have Wendell, Johnny Fairplay, Chris Noble, Tommy Sheehan, Joy Amazing. One, two, three, four, five. That sixth spot, you like Yule, Ozzy, or Lex? Yule, Ozzy, or Lex? I like Yule, Lex, Ozzy. In that order? I just like the possibility of Lex versus Matt Rogers. I don't want to see our boy get killed. I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to see Matt Rogers doing some things to Lex. Then I'm going to have to try to jump in and save my boy. <laughs> and my ass will too. All right, so are we saying no just to save his life? <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> I mean, the, the strikes against Mike and, or the, the, the strikes against Yule and Mike are, you know, the winners. So, so Lex and Ozzy are non winners. We don't want to you, flood it with winners because right, we would, know they don't. Between Lex and Ozzy, who would you pick for this last spot? <sighs> I'm cool either way, but I really think I. I think I like Lex better. I mean, because they like the they like the Tarzan character, they like the Matt Rogers character, they like the 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 older the older person. Yeah, Lex is an older dude, but he can still get down, and he's a good looking guy. He would yeah. be good out there. I mean, he's a like which like when we when Lex was on the podcast last week, there's there was a lot of people on Twitter that were just like you know look at Grandpa. And, 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 and Lex wrote me cause he was just like, man, he's just like, what's this grandpa shit? I'm just like, I know there's hundreds of girls with daddy issues that have no problem with grandpa right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, cause they're sending me messages about your ass. And he was like, I still got it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Lex. Yeah. I I'm fine with Lex um, instead of my boy Yule, but. I do hold you. I do hold you up there, and Mike Holloway. You got I do too. I do too. I do, as I said, I'm just trying to think like they think, and and kind of you know, like you know, like we we. I could give you a dream palette that is just like, well, they wouldn't like any of this shit, and they were never, you know. So it's just like you know, I, I'm trying to when I cast the, the you know the legend season, and and you know potential like you know, I'm just like, what are they thinking? And that's what I use to to make my template. So. You put your producer hat on. I get it. Yep. So, all right. Uh, females. We got Natalie and Sierra Lucina or Locks. Who okay. Who are you fighting for? What about is is can we can we put Sari in as a lock? You have a problem with that or no? No, I don't have a problem with that. You cool with that mm -hmm. one? For sure. Okay. I mean, I just she's she's fucking Survivor royalty. I, as I said, I think Australia falls in love with her. So, I yeah. think she becomes of the U.S. cast. I think they hate us when they see us, and then they then they're like, "Well, I don't care for those Americans, but I like that Surrey, all right." But, you know, but they would not do it with a redneck accent. They would do it with the Australian, which I don't know how to do. <laughs> so, all right, so uh, so who are you fighting for next? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cross off Wentworth. Okay. Okay. Um, that leaves me with Morgan, Nora, Sophie, and Sydney. I'm going to go ahead and say 
out of those four. I feel like Morgan and Nora are kind of kind of similar. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say I really like Sydney and Sophie for strength and brains. So one might even consider them kind of similar too. I'm going to go with Sydney. I'm going to fight for Sydney. I'm cool with that. All right. Sydney. Who do you have? You have Twyla. Uh, Twyla, Michaela. Michaela. Uh, Allison. Allison. Who else did you have? Uh, Who did you have? Sarah. Oh, she's already on there. Here, okay, I could just actually look right here. I have Sari, Natalie Anderson, Michaela, Twyla, Allison, Stephanie. I like uh I like Michaela just because I know what they're looking for. And she's fucking tough. Okay. And uh I would fight for Allison Raybold, but uh you you could you could talk me out of it. Okay. All right. So right now we have locked Natalie, Sarah, Sari, and Sydney. Yep. That's four. So we have two open spots. Yep. I don't like Sophie. You don't like her because she's playing blah, vanilla, what? I don't think they cast her. All right. I mean, I like they they have a they have a type. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, like, I like which call it, like, like Shawnee is not the most on paper doesn't appear to be the most athletic girl, but that's apparently not the case. She, <laughs> she can, yeah. and social game, she might be the best player in the history of Survivor. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, but I don't see Sophie as being the American Shawnee. No. <laughs> no way. I wouldn't say Sophie's social game is. Yeah. I would so, say she's a beast and 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 um she's brilliant. So okay. Well, I have Sydney and I said that Sydney and Sophie I I think they're kind of similar in that they're both very strong and very smart. So I'll take Sydney. I'll okay. cross off Sophie even though man oh man. I got gotcha. you. I got you. I, I understand the fight. I, I just, you know, I'm trying to look through their lens. If they don't have any puzzles, though, I mean, then we're fine. I'd rather have Dr. Allison on. Uh, Dr. Allison is comparable to Sophie on a puzzle, and I think she's better looking and more and, and a million times more athletic. All right. I'll take, um, I'll take Dr. Allison over Sophie, for sure. Okay. I wouldn't say a million times more athletic. Okay, that's fine. She has a more athletic build, but. Sure. So We'll run around, whatever. I got you. I got. It. I, I. I. I mean, I know you're secretly in love with Sophie. I get it. I mean, you know, you date one winner, you date another. I guess. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just kick it. Whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> that was. You guys are really cute at the re, the reunion special. I like that. That was a, that was a fun. Uh, fun that was a that was a that was a fun moment. I like that. <laughs> That's my favorite part. We still love each other, clearly. Uh, clearly. So, all right. Uh, all right. So, who who do you have on that last spot then? Okay. Are you cool with Michaela, or do you want to fight for somebody else? So, I would be fighting for um, Morgan, Nora, Chrissy Hoffback. Um, yeah. No, I'm all right with Michaela. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just knowing what they're looking for. Yeah. Okay. So here, here is, I don't think anyone would ever guess this, but I think that they would be cool with this list. And, and are you, do you want to change something? Knowing what they cast for. Yeah. Would they be okay with our ladies? I think so. Cool. I think so. Yeah. I think there's some beauty there. Yeah, there is. Yeah, they're so, all beautiful. Yep. Okay. So, so as for our so our female six are Allison Raybould, Michaela, 
Sydney, Sari, Sierra Lucina, Natalie Anderson. That's a that's a strong fucking squad right there. I'm ready to go to war with them. Okay, and then our dudes are Lex, Joey Amazing, Tommy <laughs> Sheehan, <laughs> Chris Noble, Johnny Fairplay, Wendell Holland. I like it. Are I mean, strong I, guys. Are we are we are we strong enough on guys? Uh we're we're pretty strong. Like Tommy Joe Noble. Yeah. I mean, it seems like they have more they have they have more strong guys on Australian Survivor, but you're thinking about two tribes of guys. If you whittle them down to six fucking guys, they're not gonna have all six monsters. You're gonna have a Nick. And you're going to have a Dirty Harry. Yeah. Why didn't I... I have someone on this list that I can't believe that I didn't mention. Who? That should sub someone out. Okay, what? Well, Dama Body. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's not a monster. I take Dom over anybody except for a fair play on this list. Okay. Well, I... I, I I'll, I'll I'll fight for mine. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe I didn't mention him. He's I crazy. know, but anyway, I, I can't believe you didn't mention me on the Entertainment Weekly article. But you know, to each his own. <laughs> there will be more, my friends. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I I think uh, I, like which caught all right. So let's just real quick, but before we say goodbye, uh, all right, Dirty Harry is a lock. I think uh, Nick, I think it should be a lock. Uh, Luke Toki, I think is there. So that's, that's three Matt Rogers. Yeah. Golden God. I think he turns it down. I could see that. How, where do you go from here? I know. I know. If you're a golden God, where do you go from here? Yeah. Uh, so, so he's a, he's, he's in John Hennigan territory. Yeah. All right, so uh, Lockie. <laughs> and then who's their next dude? Did we put Tarzan in there? Gosh. <laughs> yeah, please. Please, dear God. <laughs> I, think, I think Tarzan's the best person they could put in here. We keep playing. He's a strong fool. <laughs> that man. All right. All right, you keep playing. All right. <laughs> Oh, don't don't get me started. I Tarzan made me cry. Yeah, yeah. Like like Tarzan talking with David in the water. I literally cried for like three minutes, and I'm just like, I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So that's just a good season. So I don't know. We I think I think I think we 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 flushed out a few of those guys. We we won't, we won't do their entire job for them. But uh, Wendell, thank you. This was really cool. Thank you, man. I had a good time. Um, I know I surprised you with some of my picks. No, no. I, 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 I did not want us to have the same people, but I did want us to have some common ground. Yeah. And yeah. I think we did that. Yeah, and we, we selected a pretty solid group of you. Yeah. So uh, people can find you at Wendell Holland on all social media and, uh-huh. and also at Beave Unlimited. Yes, sir. And uh, you got some pretty fresh basketball goals. Yeah, somebody ordered tw- ordered 25. Well, we have 25 ready for someone who was supposed to pick them up today, but he's coming in the morning. Wow. Yeah, and then we have a bunch that we're just mailing out. We mailed three out today, and, um, yeah, these things are flying. I love those black rim ones. Yeah, maybe I need to send you one, Fair Play. You need That's to get- just fresh as fuck. Yeah. Uh, um, I got so. your address. I, I, I get those girls uh, – Get those girls throw throw some hoops. Yeah, I need some nice layups. You gotta get Piper practicing, man. Is she still hooping? Uh, well, I mean, no one's doing anything right now. So, <laughs> not, not. Have, they, have they closed your parks to where you can't hoop at the parks? Yeah, I've seen photos yeah. of like them. They screw uh, wooden boards up there, but yeah, I have drills, so I can unscrew them. But <laughs> I have drills. <laughs> I drive around with multiple drills in my car. But yeah, they they lock down all parks, man. 
Yeah. So no, it's crazy. I mean, you know, I uh, I'm I'm glad that we're we're getting through this, and uh, I appreciate you for uh, joining me. You know, on the heels of uh, season forty, it was an amazing season. Great, Great season. stuff. Best season of all time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I, the, I I have to I have to. I think I need a I think I need a few more days to process it. You got to process. I get it. <laughs> yeah. So do I. I'm yeah. Still there you go. There you go. So uh, thank you, Wendell. And uh, let me, uh, I'm going to stop this. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep you on here for a second. And now we'll take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors. Summer here. It's crazy hot outside. And after a few minutes, I feel exhausted and I'm ready for a nap. What? I'm 46 years old. I can't be taking naps. Between the sun beating down and the heat and humidity, dehydration kicks in fast. Hydrants is your key to getting back up and running more quickly than ever before. Hydrant created a refreshing electrolyte powder that you mix directly into water to efficiently and effectively hydrate your body. It hydrates you quickly and keeps you going for longer. Each rapid hydration mix has the four essential electrolytes your body needs, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and zinc, and it packs a punch to help your body hydrate fast and to stay hydrated. And if you're looking for an extra boost of energy, man, like in Survivor when we're doing challenges, I wish we had Hydrant, dude, because Hydrant contains Hydrant plus caffeine, 100 milligrams of caffeine from green tea. And you know what? It's backed by research. This formula was developed by an Oxford scientist. It is also loved by pro athletes, top performers, celebrities, and has thousands of five-star reviews. It's made with real fruit juice powder. It's delicious and refreshing and comes in a variety of flavors, including new summer-friendly iced tea lemonade and fruit punch. Damn, that just makes me want to like down these things right now plus it's backed by 100 percent satisfaction guarantee you guys if you don't love it send it back for a full refund you really need to try it for yourself to see what i'm talking about it tastes incredible and it works so johnny this thing it's the hydrant starts at just a buck a packet for a 30 day supply Save even more with a monthly subscription. So well, I'm preparing for a half marathon at the end of the summer. I'm running three to 10 miles every day. I was doing just the water. I was trying the water and other stuff. Boom, added hydrant to my life. My run times are going down faster. I'm playing, I'm in a tennis league every Saturday morning. I tried hydrant for the first time, did the blood orange, loved it. One for the first time. Usually I'm getting whooped by these other people. Not so fast. I took my hydrant. I was ready to go. Cannot prove that this is scientifically a fact that will make you a greater tennis player. But looking at Johnny Fairplay, it does. I am an an, an exceptional player when I got my hydrant in me. And I can't wait to have that hydrant power me through these next few weeks going to that half marathon in Asheville, North, North Carolina. So, uh... We've got a special deal, Zach. Tell them all about it. Where can they save? If they go to drinkhydrant.com slash survivor and enter our promo code survivor at checkout, they're going to save 25% off their first order. So again, that's drinkhydrant.com slash survivor and enter the promo code survivor. That's D-R-I-N-K-H-Y-D-R-A-N-T dot com slash survivor promo code survivor for 25 percent off your first order the reopening is right around the corner and there's a chance that no one has seen your balls in a few months don't ruin your first post-quarantine date with a ball fro would you show up to the first day of school without a haircut dude i tell you what zach manscape is here to provide you the best tools for your grooming experience and dude every time that I'm like, man, shit's getting a little fucking hairy. I look down and I say, I need to use the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0, which is the best hygiene tool for the modern man. And because of the ceramic blade and skin safe technology, your snags will be reduced 
while preparing yourself for post-quarantine life. And Manscaped is forever changing the grooming game with their Perfect Package 3.0 Essentials Kits. The Perfect Package 3.0 comes with the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 Water Resistant Cordless Body Trimmer Performance Boxer Briefs and a travel bag for you to use when we are done quarantining. The Perfect Package 3.0 also comes with a Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver. The Crop Preserver is an anti-chafing ball deodorant, which ensures that your afternoon stroll doesn't end up with your balls sticking to your leg, which is never a good thing, guys. The Crop Reviver is a spray-on toner for your balls. It's made with soothing aloe and witch hazel extracts that will give your balls a boost. And subscribers to the Peak Hygiene Plan get a new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months, making sure your trimmer stays fresh and clean. The light is at the end of the tunnel, fellas. Treat yourself for making it through quarantine with a lawnmower 3.0 and get 20% off plus free shipping with promo code what fair play that they all love survivor go to manscaped.com m-a-n-s-c-a-p-e-d.com get 20 percent off with promo code survivor manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping and use promo code survivor and your first date will thank you hey i don't know what's gonna get you action down there but i know what won't and that's having a big old bush they don't want to see it quarantine's over clean it up go to manscape.com use promo code survivor guys remember the days when you were always ready to go oh man do i i've been taking four or five blue chews just to get up in the morning i use it i uh w- w- remember when you it, what's it called on a, on a bike the kickstand I have my own kickstand thanks to Blue Chew. Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, you at home can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed just like me. Listen up. Blue Chew. B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com. That's blue like the color blue. Blue Chew brings you guys the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, so you know they work. You can take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. And since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as a pill, so you can be ready whenever an opportunity arises. If you could benefit from extra function and more confidence where it counts in the wiener area, Blue Chew is a fast and easy way to enhance your performance. And Blue Chew is prescribed online, shipped straight to your door in a discreet package, so no in-person doctor visits. No waiting in the pharmacy, and best of all, no more awkwardness. They're made in the USA, and since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy. Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our promo code SURVIVOR. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E-Chew.com, promo code SURVIVOR, and you can try it completely for free. Just pay for shipping. Blue Chew's the better, cheaper, fastest choice, and we thank them for sponsoring the podcast. Man, these guys are great. BlueChew.com. It's, it's kind of like uh, kind of like a hurt Peter. They're hard to beat. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching. This has been a fun one.